Dieve Grina Ushla Agus Fawlte, hello and welcome. It's Mr. Amy, I'm Amy and I am the Crafty Kylock and this is my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a crafty video and if you've been following along with my channel you might know that I am getting married this year. Part of that marriage ceremony will be a hand fasting and in order to do hand fasting we need something that's going to bind our hands together for that part of the ceremony so I have taken it upon myself to learn to weave specifically to learn to weave a chris which is the Irish word for belt but it's also a woven band that can be used as a belt um, or during a hand fasting ceremony so how I'm going to be doing this will be to use a heddle, a wooden heddle, which I got from Vitu Vatu, which I'll link in the description below. They are a company in Lithuania who I found on Etsy, who make handmade supplies for tablet weaving, band weaving, heddle and looms, uh, or sorry, heddles and shuttles, and different things that you would need for tablet weaving, rigid heddle weaving, and things like that. I did look for an Irish supplier to try and find one within Ireland to try and support local, but I actually couldn't find anybody making these. And I didn't have time or really the confidence in my abilities to make one myself. I wanted one that was I knew that was going to be sturdy and that was going to get the job done because I really did don't have a lot of time to mess around with this. I did get my wool from Woolly Castle, who are an Irish company in Westmeath. Yeah, basically I'm going to try to learn how to weave. Now, I made a video like this last week as in I recorded about one and a half hours of footage and then I forgot to charge my phone, which I record on, and my phone died. I lost all of the footage, but I do still have the practice weaving piece that I did last week. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this already. So if I can hopefully get the camera to focus there on that. I didn't do a bad job. It's not super straight, um, but I'm really proud of that. Um, it's my first time trying to weave. I still have everything set up here. So this is my heddle, my wooden heddle with all the strings going through it. And then of course I have my shuttle there with the warp string and that just weaves in and out and helps me to push down the um, horizontal strings. I am not an expert, I'm not even going to pretend to be an expert about this, I literally learned how to do this last week and I learned from various different YouTube videos. I want to give a particular shout out to Claire Harvest Looms and also the Durham Weaver who have really great YouTube channels that will go through this method that I'm going to use. Um, I did try to do the traditional iron style weaving, um, which basically all you need is the yarn, the string, um, your hands and something to anchor onto typically your foot. I did try this before I got my heddle and this was as far as I got. So I wanted to try a small, small length piece because the piece I'm actually going to be weaving for the wedding is eight foot long but this is as far as I got um, which was not very far so <laughs> I decided I needed to use tools to do this um, it wasn't going to be possible to learn how to do this in three months with no equipment whatsoever so I'm using the backstrap method that Claire Harvest Loons uses in their video which again I'll link in the description below with all the other resources that I was looking at and I also want to give a huge shout out to everybody who offered to help who gave screenshots and pictures of out of print Irish crafting books which went through very basic steps on how to start this and how to do this in a traditional manner. Um, the heddle isn't necessarily traditional to Irish crafting as I said it, the crisp belts on the Iron Islands um, would have been done by hand with absolutely no equipment but we're in the 21st century and I am a 21st century person and I need a little bit of help when it comes to doing that and hopefully in the future when I know a bit more about weaving and I 
understand the process a bit better I can then start looking at different techniques and different ways to do it that are maybe more traditional to Ireland but I just want to learn for the moment and I want to produce this in three months and that was not happening without using tools. So to actually get started with this project, I need to relocate to the kitchen. I need to bring all of my wool downstairs and I need to measure out the lengths that I need. Well, first what I need to do is to release my heddle from here so I can count what I need and basically get my pattern together because with this string, I actually had counted out one more length of the white color than I had needed. So the pattern was actually slightly off and not as symmetrical as I wanted it. And I like things being symmetrical. So that was a little bit of an issue. But again, this was my practice piece. So I'm glad I did a practice piece and didn't just try to dive straight into it. I'm going to take this off and basically look at the pattern of the heddle and see that each string will be going through either a hole or a longer shaft and I'm going to try and get this as symmetrical as possible with the colours so that I get a nice pattern as I'm weaving through the belt. Let's get crafty Kyla. So here I've just taken some card Counted out the holes and shafts on the heddle and for each hole I've done a small circle and for each shaft I've done a slightly longer oval and I'm just colouring those in using different colours that match the thread I'm using and just doing that in a very symmetrical pattern to align all of the yarn to. And there it is. And now we're going to go downstairs with all the stuff. Always remember to have a scissors and obviously the order of the colours as well. Okay. Because I don't have any space upstairs to do this, I need about an eight foot length of space. I'm gonna try and explain this as best I can. And if you wanna see an easier way maybe to do this, I just don't have the setup that Claire Harvest Looms has. Again, it's in the video that she has to explain how to set this up, which is basically the method I'm using. I'm just, I suppose, showing you how I'm going to do it because I don't have the types of chairs that Claire has. So I have to try and create something to tie the yarn around, or tie the wool around for stringing through the heddle. And it has to be done in a figure eight type way. So I'm kind of limited on what I can use to get that effect. So as you might have noticed, I've been changing the colour of string every so often. So two rounds or one full figure eight is two lengths of string and one half figure eight is one length of string to string through the heddle. Now coming up quite soon here, my partner actually came home while I was doing this and then our cats got involved. 
you've come home and said to me, oh, what's mommy been doing? Ah, ah. So those little paws that I've just poked away there were from Sedanta, my tuxedo cat. There's his tail wrapping around me, trying to be all nice. And suddenly there's his sister, Lorelai, up on the chair, very interested in what I was doing. Now, I have to point out that I was at this for a good 20 minutes before my partner came home. And there was absolutely no interest from either cat until he came home and came into the kitchen and started talking to me. There's Sedanta again, very curious to see what I'm doing. I can't really blame them. They're cats and it is like a ball of wool, but yeah. You can see him here as well. Check to see am I looking and then when I'm not looking, jumping straight up at the string. What I did also realize as well is much later on when I was actually doing the weaving and using the heddle, I didn't actually have to do this or I don't think at least that I had to do this part the way it's done here in the figure eight. So the next time I weave a band, I'm actually going to try and not do it this way and just measure out the string in 10 foot strands and see if that works because I think I was getting the same effect from not having it crossed over. Again, I'm not an expert on that, so I might be completely wrong and we'll see when I actually get to do that. What do you need? Ah! <laughs> no, no, good job. Ah, ah. Sedanta, Sedanta. Uh, uh, uh. And yes, we did call our male cat Sedanta because we thought it would be funny because we have funny senses of humor like that. And I find things like that, which are ironic, quite funny. If you don't know, Sedanta became Coo Cullen, which is the hound of Cullen. Here I'm just checking the crossover with the yarn to check the pattern which looks really good here and while Claire in her video used two bits of wood that are specific for this little bit of the technique I don't have little bits of wood so I just got two bits of cardboard from the card that I used for the pattern card and I'm just going to fold them over here to basically hold those strands of yarn in place so they don't move on me. And I wasn't really happy with the placement here. It was too much in the center of the length. So instead I readjusted it and repositioned where I wanted to put it. And just kind of loosened it up with my hands and then went down closer to one of the ends so that I could basically gather up the yarn easier. So I'm basically just making sure these are really, really secure here. Um, which I didn't do a great job of. We'll find out a little bit later. And here I'm just taking the end off and kind of tying it around each other in a loop. Um, and here I am back in the office with it on the desk tied to my clamp. Here's all the string, which is a lot, and the heddle. I borrowed some of my lovely fiance's beard wax or hair wax I can't remember which one to basically wet the ends of the string and kind of make them more rigid so they could go through the rigid heddle rather than using saliva which I 
wasn't finding was effective and was actually slowing me down quite a lot. You can get specific hooks that are kind of like needle hooks or also the, the little things, I can't remember what they're called right now, to help you thread needles as well would be probably really handy. I just couldn't find one while I was trying to do this and I had put myself under a little bit of time pressure on this particular day. One thing I found particularly useful during this as well was having the card with the order of the colors because as I said earlier in the video, the first time I tried this, I had actually counted out the strings incorrectly and the pattern was off center, which if you don't mind that kind of thing, that's okay. I just kind of do. So I wanted it to be perfectly symmetrical and have that nice even pattern. And also for the silver thread that I was using in the center, I wanted that to go in a specific pattern, which wouldn't have been possible if it was off center. Around about here, I took all the strings out that I had done because I was getting confused with the strings. The crossover seemed to be a little bit messed up and I was trying to figure out what was going on. So I brought back the pieces of cardboard and tried to differentiate what was supposed to be crossing over where. And I think this is where Lorelai's interference when she jumped at the string really messed things up. I have to redo the whole thing again. Just kidding, I haven't gotten sponsored yet. I have having a big enough channel for that right now. If you are liking the video, please like. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It'll help support the channel. And back to crafting. So I just spent another half an hour redoing that with the help of my lovely fiance, Dylan. So uh, what I did differently this time was we made sure there was no kitty interference. And I also did this. So basically I got two pens instead of two bits of cardboard and secured them with some small hair ties that are way too small to actually use on my hair. So I use them there. Um, so let's try stringing this again. super easy because it's sped up but this is actually such a tedious process. I'm almost done. 
And there's me letting my partner know that I'm almost done so I can come down and have a snack and a break. It's, it's done. So what I'm doing here is just taking the shorter bit at the back of the heddle where I've strung it through, gathering it up and getting ready to just make a very simple knot in it that can be undone at a later point but it's just to kind of hold it in place. I'm going to take this bit off here very carefully. So while I'm struggling getting that off just to also note that I have a little bit of a rag of just plain cotton poplin to tie each knot end. So this bit comes off here and the long bit is going to go up here. So I'm going to start at the short end. I was just using that because I was getting it ready. I'm going to tie the long bit here. And I'm going to put that back. And then I'm going to work out my width from here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is grab a belt, just a regular belt, and I'm going to tie that onto me like so. And actually, I cannot. This is my partner's belt. I don't really own any belts because I don't wear them. So, but any belt will do. Um, you're just going to need to make. A little rag like that and stick it onto the shorter end where you start and just make sure that it's nice and secure like that oops and then you're gonna sit back whoop, and don't knock anything over and you're gonna sit back and get just a nice bit of tension not too much tension but just a nice bit and just move your head up and down that's how i usually do it uh, again i say usually this is my second time doing this so what I do to try and get the the cross section is I basically move it up and down and I'll stick my finger in like this then I'll just get my shuttle ready as well my shuttle has white thread on it and so let's put my shuttle in like or my yeah shuttle in here and then cross it so that I'm getting that crossed part here and I can see here where it's crossed and then all I'm gonna do all I'm gonna do here is where I like the width, the thickness for the weaving for the band. I'm going to get another bit of cloth and just stick that in there. And then I'm going to take out my shuttle. I'm going to cross it over again and get my shuttle again and just push that down and that is that thickness there where they cross over is so that thickness there is basically where i'm going to be starting and you just move them up and down like that to see and that's not crossed so you want to cross it pull this down pull the string in across leave a little loop like that and then basically you shove that down and you just cross it over again Pull through your loop and just 
not kind of tight enough or you don't think it looks tight enough, you just pull down the shuttle so it's nice and tight and secure. And you start that all over again. I put my finger in like this to keep the loop. I pull this through. I cross it over, put in my shuttle. Pull that through, and that is weaving. And as you can see, that is woven. Now, obviously, it's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect, and I'm not going to expect it to be perfect. But that is the pattern. Because I intertwined whites with the silvers, we're getting that on every second row, which I think is really nice. And yeah, getting a tiny little zigzag as well with the light blue and dark blue. And I'm very focused, very happy with that. So I'm going to do that about 15 million more times. So yeah, I'm going to maybe try and do a, a time lapse or something. Um, I have a five hour community craft session with the Irish Pagan School, um, social sessions at Live at Five, which we do every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. And this week is a special one. We're doing a five hour community craft session where we're going to just be crafting for five hours. So I'm going to just do it during that. So when I got to a length where I couldn't continue weaving anymore because the length of the yarn had gotten too short on one end, then I basically cut about five inches of loose string and just started plaiting the ends together. Just like that. And I did that on the other end. And that was my curse. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is my second attempt at actually weaving and my first attempt at weaving a full length band. I will be doing it a couple more times before I make the actual hand fasting one. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe and share if you did like the video and give me a magwip. I'll see you in the next one.